da 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 Unless it's a matter of just space jumping. There we go. That wasn't that bad after all. <laughs> I just didn't realise what I had to do. There we go. That was definitely the more in-depth one, but yeah, not too bad. Not too terrible. Oh, oh, oh. So that's probably the hardest power bombs to get. Six two six. Um. Right, and there should be this over here. Oh, I did it again! Damn it! Oh, my only option now would be to leave to the lab. Oh, nowhere. I mean, that actually could be something I have to do, which is a bit dumb. Hmm. Mostly because I ain't saved. Hmm. In terms of stairs, I'm at 70, 70 bombs and 20, 245 missiles. That seems a bit off. I think I'm missing a missile thing. Oh yeah, I am. It's underneath. Where I am currently. Proceed to navigation. Ah, oh, shit. I don't think I can get out. Which is incredibly shitty. <laughs> now this just gives you a means of fighting. Maybe. No. Am I really? Hmm. I just like can't exit boss room? Unless I can bust through here. Ah, no. Well, they better not have me locked in. Hmm. Oops. Mm. Either that or I can go over this way. I'm not go I'm not going into the lab until I know for a fact I am stuck. I like that I can't get out of here. There must be. Ah, okay, good. Whew, I was gonna say. Okay, I panicked. I thought for 100% I'd fucked myself. Completely. How the hell do I get to that? What? Are you kidding? 
Oh god. I'm still missing a missile tank somewhere, so that's weird. Fuck. Yeah, I think if I come out with Morph Ball, it should work, maybe. There we go. Ha! Sucker! Hmm. Oh my god. That was horrible. Oh yeah, I am missing one missile pack. It's underneath the save room. I just remembered. Oh my god. Yeah, that was almost terrible. Phew! Right, okay, cool. Panic over. Yeah, well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't put it past the game, that's all. <laughs> oi, oi, oi. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right, so, hang on, I need to consult the map again. I just want to double check. Save room, yep. Mm hmm. You got the boss room, which leads to the data room. You can get to that regardless? Yeah, I should be able to. Yeah, from this room. No, because that's where the last missile pack is. I seem, it seems like I am missing a, a power bomb, though. Somewhere. Oh, the, no, just because I have such a weird uh, number. Yeah, 72. I mean, it might not be the case. It's just what it seems like. There's definitely the one in... There it is. No, there's definitely the one in the restricted lab, so that's one, which would put me up to 74. Um, but yeah, after that, I'm not too sure. Hmm. Oh. Oh, nice. Unintentional. I wonder where this one could be. Me hat at the very top. Oh, wow, it, it didn't actually do anything. Oh, never mind, that's why. Hooray! Missile tanks. Hmm. I mean, I can always go back to five. So, just need to look up Metroid, Fusion, Max, Items. Energy, 29.9. Oh, Powerbomb, 74. Oh, really? That's such a weird number. So, I've got everything. 100%, bitch. That's so strange. I'm just going to double check. Some of us will end up with 20 tanks, 250 missiles, and 74 power bombs. What a random number. <laughs> 74. I always like when it ends with, well, a better number. <laughs> yeah, not 74. I was expecting like 80 or to stop at 70. It's always weird when it goes into the numbers. I mean, 75 would have worked too, but whatever. No, so that's everything. Booyah! All we have left now is the final sequence and to beat the game. Yeah, it didn't go for that long either. It's only been. Oh, yeah. No, it's been, um, just. Oh. Hooray! God. It's been just over an hour, so... Probably, depending on how long these last segments take... 
the rest of the game's probably not going to be much longer, at 20 minutes tops, if that. Not too bad though. I had a feeling that um, getting 100% wouldn't require a huge amount of time. It all depended on how long it took me to do certain things, like the shine sparks, etc. But all in all, it didn't take too long. Not too bad. And I can say with certainty, like now that I've actually 100%ed Fusion, uh, Zero Mission was a lot harder. <laughs> to 100%. Which of the two is a harder game? Fusion, without a doubt. But for 100% completion, Zero Mission was much worse. It required you to do Shine Spark tricks across multiple rooms several times, and also do Ball Sparks and everything, which was new. And I've already said my piece when it comes to the game, and it's bullshit. Locking me out of beating the game, basically. Uh, locking me out of exploring. Yeah, just locking the, the player into the final mission is poopy. Not a fan of it. Uh, okay. Isn't there a save point in the lab? Yeah, there is. And then I should be able to shine spark. Whee! I mean, I'm stuck in this now. I'm locked. Locked in! I was about to say, this is where the power bomb says 70. But no! Oh, uh, wait a minute. Where is it I need to spark? Oh, it is in this next room. Okay. There it is. And there it is. Oh man, if you miss that. Oh. Oh, that would be the worst feeling ever. Alright, there we go. We don't have a choice. <gasps> Navigation! Samus, we're done here. Leave the rest of the Federation. We should be, prepar be preparing to evacuate the station. Are you joking? Do they know how dangerous the eggs are? How quickly they reproduce? The Federation has taken an interest in the X and SAX. They believe this life form has endless potential applications. Potential applications. This is ridiculous. The X are heartless abominations. What potential could they have? It is not necessary that you understand such matters. The Federation is coming now. You should just leave quietly. This is madness. They won't stand a chance here. The station will devour them. What could be worth the risk? Capturing the SAX, of course. Are you serious? Do they really think... Do they really think they can succeed? It will certainly be difficult. They don't expect your help. They knew you would try to destroy the SAX. That's why they stopped sending you support data. The plasma beam modification was ready some time ago. But... They withheld it to keep you from engaging the SAX. Yet somehow... You restored that function on your own. They also tried to withhold the diffusion missile upgrade. Because they didn't want you to grow too powerful. But they had already sent it, and you tracked it down. Bravo, Samus. They must cancel this mission. Open a channel to HQ. I won't let this happen. They are already on their way. Fools. As soon as the Federation ships land, the X will overwhelm them and absorb the knowledge and power of their occupants. The eggs are just waiting for the hunt to begin, and then they'll spread across the universe. Galactic civilization will end. The eggs hunger for form, knowledge, and power. They mimic these perfectly, but they cannot copy the soul. They're single-minded, instinctively seeking to increase in number. They're a plague, and the Federation underestimates their threat. The eggs must not leave here. I must destroy them all before the Federation arrives. This station has a self-destruct mechanism. I must use it to destroy the eggs here and on the planet. I must send them to Oblivion, them, the station, and myself, if I have to. <gasps> no, I'm locked in again. <laughs> Open the hatch. Again. Open the hatch. I have been ordered to confine you until the ships arrive. Don't let them do this. Can't you see what will happen, Adam? Adam? 
Who is Adam? A friend of mine. And what would this friend advise you to do now? He would know that the only way to end this is to start the self the self destruct cycle. He'd know how important it is. Did this Adam care for you? Would he sit in a safe command room and order you to die? He would understand that some must live and some must die. He knew what it meant. He made that sacrifice once. So he chose life for you, our fair warrior Samus Aaron. Your Adam gave his life so that you might keep yours. For the sake of the universe. How foolish. How dare you? How could you un how could you hope to understand the machine? You know that detonating this station in high orbit would not guarantee the complete extinction of the ex-parasites. Even though the station would be utterly destroyed, you would only succeed in removing the one obstacle to the galaxy's ruin. Yourself. You would ignore this simple fact and choose death. When Adam decided who would live, he chose incorrectly. If you were to alter the station's orbit, then you might be able to include the planet in the vaporization field, field of the self-destruct detonation. Hmm? You would have to start the propulsion sequence now, before the Federation arrives. Samus, this is your last mission. Go to the operations room and adjust the station's orbit path to intercept SR388. <gasps> then return to your ship and escape. Move quickly and stay alive. That's an order. Any objections, lady? Yay! Now the weird thing is, the fact I'm down here, like I'm in the lab, so I'm curious what would actually happen. Because this is going to take me back to Sector 1. I think? Yeah, it's put me all the way down here. So I would technically still be able to go and explore. So I could have done that if I'd have been in the lab. It's because of the position I was in, or like whereabouts I was, that screwed me out of being able to 100% before the final, you know, sequence or encounter, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, if you make that your final, like, stop, you get the final mission, but you don't get locked out of everything, seemingly. Yeah. Which is nice, at least. I'm just assuming that as soon as you step foot inside um, the recharge room, probably, or the navigation room, it will lock you out from going back to the sector. That would be my guess. Oops. Okay. I mean, I have no wish to stay here. I have everything. 100% it, baby. Yeah, so I don't need to stick around. I do want to get my power bombs up to 74, though. Like, you know, I actually have 74 on me. Instead of the 68. Getting out of here is much easier than getting in. Oh. So I first thought. No, I only lost 10 health. It's fine. I'm good. Boom, and boom. So now we are over here. Oh, we're near the, near the beginning. Do -do 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 -do. I am wondering, like, would it actually lock you out? I mean, I can go and look, I guess. Hmm. The reason I say that is because there's the entrance to Sector 2 from the main deck. But there's a high chance that it does just completely lock you out. I want to go this way. I guess we'll find out, because I'm gonna go. For, I'm definitely gonna go look. Mhm. Mm I'm curious. Okay. Alrighty. Unless these are already... Oh, never mind. I thought these are going to already be locked. There we go. Yeah, it locks you out. I've gone back to the sector. There it is. 250. 2,099 energy. And 74 power ones. Nice. Not bad. I think fusion might actually be the longest. 
of all the Metroids I've covered so far. Followed by Super and then Zero. I think. Alright, so back on the main deck. I'm curious if I can actually get down to Sector 2 or not. Or if the doors are all going to be locked. At this point, I don't care. Even if I can't go back to the station, it's just one of those things that I'm very curious about. Hmm. So, we're not in navigation just yet. Oops, there's navigation. And yet again, door's wide open. Locks me out. Oh, what? Oh, it doesn't lock me out. Wait a minute, I get the feeling even after you- Uh, never mind. You can't get over to Sector 2 then. So there, yeah. I am officially locked out of everything now. There we are. Over here is where I need to be. I was about to say, where's the closest save point? I think it's here. There's one there, but... I don't even know if I can get to it, so I'm gonna save here. Mm -hmm. So I don't think you get a chance to save. Like, from now until the end of the game, I don't think there's a chance to save. Go to the operation room and set cars for SR388. Then return to your ship and evacuate before impact. You got it. So the question is, can I actually go over this way? I can. I'm just like, is this is this safe point close? No, I can't. Forgot about the wire that's destroyed. <laughs> Shoot. All right, well that's going to be the the save I have to use then. What a shame. There is a save room in here. Like, up here. So I might be able to do it after... a uh, certain something. Maybe. Yeah, because you already know that this is here. There's navigation. Actually, there we go. What do you know? Look at who it is. Yeah, just screw it, heck. I'm invincible. It's the best. No. Oh, you keep space jumping. You bitch. Oops. Oh god, I shouldn't have done that. Was a mistake! Oh dear. I shot the wrong way. God. You and your bloody screw attack. There we go, we got it. Yeah! Oh god! Oh boy. Woo. Oh, yeah, I died. Oh. oh! I shot too early. Oh, I shot too early again. Oh, there we go. Oh, it escapes. You can't actually chase it. You can leave, though. You can't go to the recharge. Ah, oh, that sucks. All you can do now is this, I guess. Operations room. Wait, wait. Propulsion Orbit change implemented. Three minutes to impact. It's our 388. Now we need to just book it. Yeah, because we're timed. Even for the um 
the final final boss. Spoilers. I hate how slow the elevator is. Given the fact we are timed, it's the worst. Boo, 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 boo. Oh, there's a recharge room. Yeah, no. I was going to. I figured, nah, that's probably a bad idea. You can't save because of course. You'd be able to quite literally just make the game not possible to complete if you could save. Go! Hey, here we go. Oh, whoa. What the hell destroyed all this? Jesus. Here it is. PSL. Uh oh. Oh god. Would you look at that? Oh my. Got its mother brain all over again. It's scripted. And look who it is. Oop. We don't have a choice. Gimme! I kinda need to just avoid getting hit. Because if you get hit, you get stunned. Oh crap. Oops. Oh, come on. No! Crap. I didn't realize I was looking at, this, at the floor. Is that it? Everything? We got it! I'm the winner! Woo! That's Metroid Fusion down. Not bad. First try, baby! <sighs> we made it! And look, our suit's nice and orange. That perfect military mind, the wisdom of Adam Mal Malkovich, continued to serve even after death. Until today, I had no idea that the minds of leaders and scientists were frequently uploaded to computers. My incredible reunion with Adam may have saved the universe. But how will the beings of the universe view our resolve? I doubt they will understand what we did. The danger we barely averted. They will hold tribunals and investigations. They will hold us responsible. Adam understood this and he spoke to me in my anger. Do not worry, one of them will understand. One of them must. I reflected upon his words, and I see the wisdom in them. We are all bound by our experiences. They are the limits of our, con of our consciousness. But in the end, the human soul will ever reach for the truth. This is what Adam taught me. Just one detail still bothers me. This ship can only be started manually. Yet before I faced the Omega Metroid, the ship moved on its own, guided by someone's hands. Is it possible, Adam? No, it's obvious. Lady, what's troubling you? You wonder how I started the ship? Just think about it. It's very obvious. They lent me a hand. Oh, I love it. Yeah! So that would be... Actually, no, that's, that's them paying Samus back, actually, for saving them in Super Metroid. Unless, of course, it's me, in which, in which case they don't have anything to pay me back for, because they would be dead. Ah. Nice. I enjoyed that. That was good. That was really good. And I got 100%, I think. 
I've got to wait for the credits to finish, but thankfully it's a GBA game, so the credits are only like 10 people long. So there we go. That's Metroid Fusion down. Onwards to Metroid 2 Samus Returns. I still don't know what I'm going to call it, because I'm not going to be playing the 3DS version. <laughs> yeah, so it's just one of those things, do I call it Metroid 2 Samus Returns? Or do I just call it another Metroid 2 or AM2R? I think I'd rather just call it Metroid 2, but then when I actually start the video, or start the series, just say that it isn't the 3DS game, or the Game Boy game. It's the fan remake. Super Mario Club. But no, I really enjoyed this. It was a really good game. The only thing I don't like about it at all is the whole locking you into the end of the game. It's bullshit. I do not like that at all, especially when it's a game like Metroid where going for 100% completion is a fairly common thing people um, like to achieve. So for the game to essentially spit in your face and say, no, you're not allowed, it kind of sucks. But it seems that if you trigger the navigation sequence in the main, uh, not the main deck, in the restricted laboratory, then you still actually have a chance to go around and explore everything. So that's cool. So for the final mission, just make sure you're in the restricted laboratory, I guess. There it is. Now the question is, did I get 100%? So that's what she looks like. Hot damn. Whoa! Oh! Clear time. 4 hours and 43 minutes. Your rate for collecting items is... Booyah! 100%. Fuck yeah. See you next mission. Awesome. I was waiting for collection... Oh, your rate for item... Oh, for collecting items is... 99%. Hooray! 4 hours and 43 minutes though. That doesn't seem accurate. There it is. See you next mission. So now that we've actually beat the game, I believe I can start the same one. Start. Continue. I think it starts you just before the end of the game. So before you went to operations. Yeah, there we go. Now it just tells you about everything. Oh, it's how many pickups you've picked up overall. Wait, how do I change that? I could have sworn there was a way of making it so it switched between... maybe select. Ah, there we go. This is how many pickups there are in this area for E-tanks, missiles, and power bombs, and then that's how many there are total. There it is, 100% completion, baby. Not bad. Yeah, I really enjoyed this game, aside from the minor group with the whole locking you into the final sequence sort of thing. But let's actually just go check, just before I do officially end off the... the game. And as I say, AM2 is next. I just don't know what I want to call it, because the last thing I want is to bring attention to it. But there we go. Now that I've beat the game, it doesn't matter anyway. But once you beat the game, all of the doors that have the locks on them get lifted, so you can actually go back and explore, which is pretty pretty nifty. Pretty nice. I just wish they didn't lock you out of exploration anyway. Like, why they have to lock you out of this just because they want you to go and set the orbit? For SR388? Yeah, I don't know. But, whatever. Aside from that minor gripe, I thoroughly enjoyed this game. And, as I've said, it's easier to 100% than Zero Mission. <laughs> I just really struggled with the uh, Shine Spark stuff in Zero Mission. But, I didn't struggle with them in this, so clearly it was all worth it in the end. But that is going to be the end of Metroid Fusion. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this adventure. And until next time, take care.